boy Heckler the Cosmonaut, Street Scholar Entertainment. Coming straight out of North Carolina. URM was popping. 12 on my ass, I got a whole thing, I gotta shake them fast. Shake. These niggas snakes and these hoes fake, I gotta mow the grass. I whip it, I flip it, it's gone. Call the plug, tell them it's on. It's on. I move that thing by the zone. I don't do credit alone. Grew up in where I'm from, Littleton, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised, grew up there my whole life. You know, I done been from state to state, town to town, all up and through this motherfucker, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. What type of music did you grow up listening to? Well, my mama, she in love with pop. You feel me? So I grew up on that pop shit. You know what I mean? Straight hip hop. My grandma, she was more of a Sam Cooke, you know, Roy Gray. Roy C, all that, you know what I'm saying? That old Southern soul music, you know what I mean? So. Anybody in your family got a musical background? Um, I mean, I got a few people that, you know, do their thing, but it was never no, you know, they ain't never go mainstream or nothing like that. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, my buzzing down, Timmy G. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was doing that music thing, and that's who really got me into it. You know, because I used to be a young boy. He, they used to have their little battles and all that. And so those cyphers, and I used to come run, jump in. You know what I mean? Had niggas going crazy. So, right, so you know. besides family, what kind of led you in the pursuit for you to chase down a career in music? I mean, like, music is my life. I love music. Mm -hmm. And when I actually discovered that I had the talent to do it, and when my people actually pushed me to do it, like, yo, you sound good. You know what I'm saying? I ran with it and I stuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I just stayed down. And I've just been doing music since then. Like, that's all I know. Like, I can spit a rhyme better than I can walk on my own, too. You know what I mean? You gotta experience life the right side, right? Right, right. So, that's a fact. That's a fact. So, can you tell me about where you grew up at? How does it inspire you and your music? It inspired me and my music a lot, man, because I come from the country. A little small town, you know what I'm saying, where n nobody got nothing really. Like, you really had to make something out of nothing where I'm coming from, you know? Like, I wasn't raised up with the final things. I didn't have, I wasn't raised with a silver spoon or none of that. Like, everything that I had, I had to get on my own. My mama, she did the best she can do, you know what I'm saying? Single parent, raised up on disability and all that. So, you know, I really had to go through it and you know, get everything I do. I looked at my cousins, I got cousins, you know, they parents had money and stuff like that. So, you know, only time I really had fun is when I went to their house, you know what I'm saying? So I took that, put it in my music, I really come from a struggle. Mm -hmm. So I know how I feel, you know what I mean? To really not have anything. And then you come into this, while well, I got this going on and the love, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, Basically, nigga, crazy that. What's your thoughts on the entertainment industry today, coming from an era where you was raised on Pac to the closest thing to Pac that Cat Team probably get it, Shy Glizzy? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I fuck with Glizzy heavy. You know what I mean, Shy Glizzy, Gotti, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with them niggas heavy, like, them, How them you two. Feel about the industry? The industry is real crazy. Like I, I look at the industry like I look at it like it's a setup. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Like everything is staged. They pick who they want to be mainstream. They pick who they want to be on the radio. You know what I'm saying? Like they pick who they want to be their kids' icon. Right. Basically. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause Jeezy, stupid nice. You know what I'm saying? Even on, what's my man? Lucci. Stupid nice. You know, it's a lot of niggas that ain't really getting the recognition that they should get, but that's only because of the big man that, you know, they don't want their kids hearing that. Well, they don't want you to know the truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they not going to play what's really going on and people really letting you know what's going on out here. They're not going to play that because they don't want you to know that. Right. So the industry, I mean... The only thing the industry is really good for is the money. Because the rest of it is some bullshit. Right. That's how I feel about it. Alright, uh, would you pretty much knowing exactly 
what the game is, you know, how it's played right now. They pick who they want. But you growing up off the pot, you establishing what you what you got so far. What's your ultimate goal? Have you have you got to your ultimate goal so far? Do you know what it is that you want to do once you enter the game? Yeah, I, I do. It's like once I enter the game. I just want, like I said, I, I'm in my own lane, so I want to have that set, and I want to just, you know, take off in that avenue. Like, you know, I want, I'm coming with something totally different. You know what I'm saying? Even though balls going to relate to some of, some of the bases that everybody touching on, right. I'm on something totally different. You know what I mean? And my main thing is I want to stand out for me. You know what I'm saying? My voice and my people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my certain crowd. Everybody got their own crowd. I got my certain crowd, so I'm gonna stand on that and just, you know, take off. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, be one of the biggest successes that there ever was. Tell me about the project you're working on now. How did it come about? What's going on with it? Right. Like, the project I'm working on right now is called Trella House. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no Pacific release date for it right now. I'm still working on mad songs, you know? I want to have a, 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 a big variety of like, so I can I can actually choose from song to song. But I guarantee you though, when it drops, this shit is going to be lava. It's going to be straight lava, like. But, um, you know, I got them deep thought songs, them hustling tracks, some street bang. I got the club bangers popping. You know what I'm saying? I got something you can ride with your shorty with and all that. So I'm basically I'm basically touching every everything like I'm touch every aspect of it like in the game like whatever you want to hear it's gonna be up there. All right, well, what's your uh, what's what's the first thing you pushing off of? First thing will be act the fool. Okay. Act the fool. That's a straight trap song, you know, a street banger. All right. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that act the fool. Had the clubs rocking, everybody running around in their car. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, however you jug. Because jug, it just ain't one set thing. You can jug, whatever. So, you know, I'm going I'm to push that right there because that's a real motivational song. Like, yo, get out there and get your bread, man. You know what I'm saying? So, that's one. That's going to be my first single, Act the Fool. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably follow that up with this joint photo. You know what I'm saying? That's something for the ladies. That's a panty dropper right there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna follow up with that. You know, but um act the fool, that's gonna be real crazy. Real crazy. You know what I mean? The video coming soon for that too, so y'all definitely be on the lookout for that.